for Dunphy and call the room for Goldstein. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. And Deputy Speaker, in the lead up to the next election, there's going to be a lot of talk. Labor candidates seeking to sell the credibility of the opposition. Good luck with that. Uh, Greens that selectively pick the science they like. Climate science, yes. Scientifically enhanced food, no, not so much. Candidates wanting to outsource climate policy from the Australian Parliament and towards unelected bureaucrats. Yeah, nah. What we actually want is action. The people of Australia want action. And well, Deputy Speaker, talk is cheap. It's outcomes that matter, and we've got them in spades. We lowered income taxes to ensure that Australians keep more of their own money. Laws, we introduced laws to punish online trolls, trolls harming children and to hold big tech accountable. Exposed corruption in the superannuation sector and fixed loopholes they exploited, including those that were used to harvest low balance accounts for fees. And ASIC is now investigating whether to bring insider trading charges against industry super fund uh, executives and fund managers. We made the tough calls to uphold national security, including increasing the defence budget and commissioning nuclear submarines to meet the challenges of the 21st century. In the last term, we stopped an extradition treaty with China that would have exposed Australians to China's opaque judicial system, delivered marriage equality that ensures Australian couples have legal equal recognition in rights, and of course improved medical privacy laws so that your health records can't be compromised. And of course, we proudly stopped Labor's retiree tax that would have uh, stripped many self-funded retirees of up to 30 per cent of their income and pushed them down the financial stairs. And now delivering Australia's first comprehensive economy-wide plan to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050, with emissions already down by 20 per cent and falling. And of course, uh, as uh, a member of parliament, uh, we introduced uh, the first legal framework for offshore electricity infrastructure. But that's the national. Then there's also the local, where we work directly with council. Uh, after they applied, we delivered the largest grants to Bayside and Glen Ira in their history for car park upgrades along the Sandy and Frankston lines. We provided funding to replace the roof of Black Rock Yacht Club and upgrades to community sporting infrastructure. Funding for local netball facilities to address the issues of gender inequity. A million dollars to help return Elsinwick Park to a nature reserve. And of course, funding for foreshore restoration in Black Rock and Sandy. So whether it's national, whether it's local, there are no empty promises. There's a clear track record of delivery. And in short, election 2022, I know some people are getting very excited about it. And trust me, Deputy Speaker, I'm excited about it too. Because what I love about elections is the chance to directly engage with the community, as we've done for the past six years. So in short, bring it on.